I would say it was a pretty magical year. We had a lot of ups and downs throughout the season. And to come away with a championship, I think it just gives credit to, to where credit is due with all the hard work everybody put in during the year and how we came together at the right time. Uh, you know, it was definitely a very special moment for sure. Um, it was very nice. I've, I've been to the playoffs many times and to finally have something to, to show everybody all my hard work and, you know, what a, what a great team we had was, it was pretty nice. And, uh, I haven't been able to wear it around too much, but, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully the, the fans of Winnipeg appreciate it. I think one of the, the biggest things I remember from the season besides winning the championship game would be the first round of playoffs in St. Paul. After we split the first two at our place, we have a crazy loss, get walked off in St. Paul. We're down, you know, two games on the verge of elimination. The next night, we score in the ninth to win it off possibly the best close in the league. And, you know, we come out the next day to to beat St. Paul and head to the championship series. I think that's definitely one of the big spots that, that sent out in the season for me. I mean, the fans and, and the front office I and the team, I just haven't been anywhere where I feel as comfortable and the support that I've, I've had the last couple of years. I, I know it's a little colder than uh, some other places, but I think the setup we have is, is amazing and it's just a, it's a great environment to play. I mean, I guess everyone would have to say Reggie because the stuff he says is ridiculous and you know, he, he just does some crazy things, but um and I'll try to think of somebody else where, where uh, you know, I I can uh, head in, in a different direction. Um, probably one of the, the funnest guys, I, I think, is probably Kyle Anderson. I mean, we we play catch every day. I mean, we we always we always have something something to bring to the to the stadium to talk about that day. And I, I mean, it could be completely off the wall some days. So he's been he's been pretty fun. Fun to have around, and I mean, we definitely, definitely enjoy hanging out. Um, I don't know if if it's a controllable thing. I think over years you just have a different feel on the baseball, which can generate different kinds of rotations, which result in different kind of movement. And and obviously, I try to you know, have the tightest breaking ball and, and the most depth on, on my off-speed pitches as well as fastball, I'll try to get as much rotation to, you know, throw as hard as I can, I guess I can say. I think it definitely depends on the player because, I mean, if I know guys are good fastball hitters and I get a good fastball by them, it's, you know, pretty rewarding. But but then a guy who is I guess always sitting on a fastball and you just fool him you I you can't help but laugh at him and uh, you know I think it's always nice to strike people out it it kind of gives us a, a warm and fuzzy feeling inside as pitchers. Um, I uh, as far as as memories growing up I I don't know if I have a favorite playing memory. Um, but I do remember a time I was playing outfield and as a little kid, too many people, not too many people hit it out, you know, past the infield. So you kind of get bored, you're kicking the grass. And I remember wiggling my tooth out there and it fell out in the middle of the game. So while the game is playing, I'm, I'm screaming, you know, my dad or, or someone to come out there with my tooth in my mouth. I think it was probably one of my first baby teeth, um, that was that was a pretty pretty funny memory from from my childhood. Uh, I think that I do both of those sometimes, um, depending on how easily the first two at bats go. I I mean I do tend to throw a lot of fastballs. 
And if they aren't catching up to the fastball or aren't adjusting, then I would probably stick with that instead of trying to be too tricky. But then sometimes in the case of getting third time through the order, I feel we can we can try to trick ourselves into into what the batters might be thinking and that ends up hurting us because we're trying to do too much trickery to to throw off the hitters. So it just kind of depends on how the game's going and, and we just have to flow with the momentum. Off season's been pretty good. Spent a couple months in Canada before um, the holidays. Been back in in the states. Been down in New Mexico. Um, training training pretty hard now that I've I've had an off season for the first time in a couple years. Uh, substitute teaching um, almost every day during the week keeps me busy. Gets me out of the house. So uh, the off season's been been pretty good. I I wish it was a little warmer, but uh, other than that, can't complain. <laughs> 